honestly, I don't know if I'll be able to fit everything in there. We will see. I got a new backpack. That's why today I'm gonna do a what's in my camera bag video after the intro. Hey, I just got a new backpack. You know, I was kind of tired of having to carry my bigger one everywhere, even when I don't need so much space. So I got this one. The brand is Brevity or Brevité or Brevité à la française. Brevity. Anyways, it looks kind of small, honestly. Well, definitely much smaller compared to the one I've been using for the past few years. So again, its brand is Brevity, Brevity, here. And the name of the model is the Jumper Photo. And in this case, it's green. It has many pockets and compartments where you have many options to fit all your stuff in here, including a side opening here that you can use to quickly take out your camera just in case whatever happens you won't miss the shot there are two different places to put your tripod or stabilizer gimbal here on the side with a very stretchable pocket here with you can fit one of the legs of the tripod and tie it with this and at the bottom here same thing you can put your tripod here it has a front pocket and another opening on the front here where you find very hard fabric removable elements here attachable with velcro that you can customize the way you want so it looks good, the quality feels good, definitely, but its size, mm, I don't know. Now, I'm gonna tell you all the things that I'm gonna put in this camera bag. And I'm not just gonna try to stuff it up as much as I can to see what you can fit in it, no. But I'm just going to select the gear I need for my next shooting, which is gonna be a video slash vlog. The video is gonna be for my Spanish channel. And here, the Canon R7 is all the rage. So I'm definitely bringing with me my Canon R7 here. And since it's gonna be a vlog and the Canon R7 is a crop sensor camera that crops the image times 1.6, I'm gonna need two things. One, the 16 to 35 millimeters, an EF lens. And I'm gonna use it, not with a regular adapter, but rather with a speed booster. So it will look more like a 17 millimeters when at 16 millimeters instead of 25 because of being a crop sensor camera. So this is good. Then another lens I would use, since it's gonna be kind of a vlog slash test, the RF 85 millimeters F2, this one. because I'm gonna need it for B-rolls and also maybe some portraits. I'm definitely leaving the 35 millimeters, which is filming right now, cause it's not wide enough for landscape or for vlogging. And for me, it's not good enough for details or for B-rolls or for portraits. So 85 millimeters, F2, RF for the B-rolls. If 
I want to shoot some portraits or if I want to take my b-rolls to the next level I'm gonna bring an L-series lens the EF 135 millimeters f2 here in my opinion it's much better than the RF 85 millimeters f2 because you can isolate the subject much better with a creamy buttery awesome bokeh in the background and very sharp details This is coming with me. Of course, how can I not bring the Nifty 50? Here, the original EF 50 millimeters F1.8. You know, it's the cheapest Canon lens or one of the cheapest Canon lenses, but still it does its job and sometimes I need it, either for B-rolls, but also, if I want to shoot myself like a talking head with a blurry background without being too far away from the camera. So, Nifty 50. And of course, since I said from the beginning that I'm bringing the speed booster, I'm also bringing the regular Canon adapter just in case. You know, in case of comparisons with and without the speed booster, things like that. For what concerns lances, we're good to go. If we find ourselves in a situation, if I will find myself in a situation of low light, like indoors, and I want to shoot, I want to film something, I'm going to carry with me a light. So we light RB9. is pretty powerful and can control from our smartphone and everything is very reliable battery life is awesome and we even have a kind of a soft box for it a diffuser here pretty awesome for my audio I'm gonna carry my trusty Rode Vita Micro which is always my first choice when it comes to vlogging or when I have to speak outdoors and I'm not very far away from the camera. If I find myself kind of far away from the camera, especially in a noisy environment, like when we shoot outdoors, we never know what to expect. I use a uh, lavalier wireless. Hear this? It's tiny, it's very good quality and I have two. So if I need another person in the shot when I'm using the 50 millimeters or the 85 millimeters and we are far away from the camera, we can both talk, speak and say whatever we want, whatever we need for the video. Batteries, we never have too many. So I already have one in the camera, full charge, and an extra three. LPE6N and LPE6NH batteries that I can use on my Canon R7 but also all my other cameras like the R6 or the 90D and the EOS R, R5 and you can use these batteries on many different cameras And by the way, you find all these items in the link down below. So you can see everything I use, my gear, stuff and things, my gear. Let's go on. A mini tripod for the light, in case I need one. The Manfrotto Mini Pixie here. I have like five, six or seven of these. So I'm gonna carry one. So if we don't have enough light, I have fast lenses with a wide aperture, the extra light, the Wii light RB9, just in case. But what if there's too much light? The sun's so bright here. So I'm gonna bring my ND filters. Sunglasses for my lenses. actually have different compartments. Man, it's so good. Mm -hmm. 
SD card. I have my case here where I can store 12 SD cards for my cameras. You never know. Also, I'm gonna bring my laptop. Cause you know, sometimes I wanna see what a photo or a piece of footage looks like right away. Or if I'm traveling by train or by car, but someone else is driving, I can start editing on the way back. So I'm gonna bring my MacBook Pro 13 here. I don't know if it's gonna fit. I'm gonna try, but no promises. And it fits. It's awesome. Now there is even space for my passport. Here in a secret compartment. Jobby Rulapod 5K. If I want to vlog or to do pretty much anything because it's really versatile. We put this here, this pocket expands so much. And my KNF concept tripod carbon fiber is real light and very, very reliable. So this is it. I was able to fit everything, all the things I need for my next shooting. As you can see, it's compact, it's not cumbersome, and at the same time, I was able to fit everything, and it's much. So far, I think this backpack is just awesome. I didn't mention that you can use it even when you're going out, just not to take photos or videos, but just as a regular backpack, you just remove the velcro things and it would look just like a regular backpack can't believe it i was able to fit all that stuff in there as i said i wasn't trying to stuff it as much as i could but rather i just wanted to test if i could fit all the things that i will need for my next shooting i really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did smash the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video oh yeah <laughs>